Okay, so something that I think needs to be talked about, and that's TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim. The last two days, Thinkorswim has had massive issues with their platform. I use Thinkorswim for charts. Interactive Brokers is my broker, and they've been my broker since last July, when I first came back to trading and I started a small account, and I've slowly grown it since. And the last two days, it's been really bad. And I'm all over Twitter, and I see people talking about, once again, another day of having issues. It kind of blows my mind that people still keep their money there. You know, when it comes to trading, and it comes to doing something that is already difficult enough, I feel like reliability and speed are so important. And to have numerous issues with TD Ameritrade, and people still continuously have money there, very interesting topic and something that I just, I don't get. I know in the little Discord group that I have, there are people who use Thinkorswim and they have been constantly complaining, talking about how there's serious issues, the platform. I've noticed it myself because I use them just for charts. And every morning, the last couple of days, they have just completely lagged and basically have been totally unreliable and non-working. So I end up just putting it down and using my interactive brokers charts entirely. Something that I just think is very important is that when it comes to trading and it comes, you know, a, a world where speed and reliability are very important, it still blows my mind that people will, will choose and go with a broker that has those issues, that's, that's having reliability issues, that's having exec, you know, fast execution issues. It's something that you got to take a step back and you really got to say, does this make sense? Is it worth being a part of this broker where at any moment it could just go down and prevent me from trading that day? There's a peace of mind knowing that you have a broker that you can rely on. I couldn't imagine having my money at a place where I almost feel like I, sh like I can't take a trade or I can't even rely on what's gonna happen after I click the button. I think if you take your money seriously and you take trading seriously, then just like an athlete uses you know, the, the right equipment, you know, you're talking about golfers using the right golf clubs, you're talking about basketball players using shoes that are top notch. When it comes to trading, Using a top-notch, reliable, fast executions broker is everything. And there are numerous out there that you can use. And I think the last handful of days, and I feel like it's like once a month now, where there's just massive issues, and it kind of comes out of nowhere with Thinkorswim. They don't give you a heads up. It's just you log in that day, and then there are platform issues, and it essentially just crashes. So I feel like when it comes to using you know, using the right pieces to succeed in anything you're doing, especially trading, a broker is everything. And there are a lot out there that are good. I'm a little biased because I use interactive brokers. I think interactive brokers is great for a few reasons. A lot of the top-notch brokers, like in my opinion, I think Lightspeed is the best broker. The only downside with them is you do need 25K. So if you don't have 25K, then... You can't, you can't put money with them. You can't be involved because in order to get access to Lightspeed Trader and all the bells and whistles, you need that, that the PDT account. And then there are some others like Speed Trader and Cobra and, and Centerpoint Security. You got to be well-funded to go to these places. I think Interactive Brokers is great. They have no minimum. They're a direct access broker. So it's instant executions. And that's coming from somebody who's used Lightspeed. So I, when I first got started in the trading, I used Lightspeed and Lightspeed is by far the best. And having used interactive brokers for a year, I think they're great. They're super cheap. Their commissions are cheap. Their monthly fees are cheap. And their executions are just as fast as Lightspeed. The only downside, if there is one, is that the platform takes a little bit to get used to. It's not necessarily the most user-friendly platform in the world, but just like anything else, you use it enough, you get used to it. So not trying to pitch interactive brokers here, but just going back to the topic of using the right broker is so important. I know that somebody had even mentioned saying that they are currently with Thinkorswim 
and they felt uncomfortable to take a trade because they weren't sure what was going to happen after the fact. I couldn't imagine being in that scenario. To me, that is that is absolute insanity. So it's one of those things where when you have, I get if you have an issue once, maybe twice because of software and, you know, sometimes there's glitches and if there's updates, sometimes there's issues. But when you're having issues, like it feels like almost every single month and then two days in a row and you're trying to, you're trying to make money in the markets or as a matter of fact, you're trying to be fast so you don't get hurt because let's say you're in a position and it ends up going against you. I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even process that I'm in a position. Let's say I take a long on Tesla, right? Starts to go in my favor and then it starts to kind of come back and I start to consider, all right, maybe I should cut this. And then my broker just freezes up and has a ton of issues and doesn't seem to be doing a lot to get it up quickly. That would drive me absolutely insane. So, it, you know, you give something one chance, fine. You give it a second because you're nice. You're nicer than me. But when there's a third issue, that means it's just time to go. And I really like Thinkorswim for charts. I think their charts are great. But the lag issue and the, the, the order execution being iffy and even just the platform reliability being iffy, those are all reasons on why if I had my money with Thinkorswim, I would take it out immediately. I wouldn't put my worst enemy's money at Thinkorswim with the way they've been performing lately. Hopefully they can fix those issues, but who knows? Ever since the the Schwab, uh, a TD Ameritrade merger, I feel like it's gone downhill pretty quick, and I don't know if that's ever gonna change. Hopefully they can figure it out, but to be honest, I don't really care because my money is with IB, and the only other place that it would go outside of IB is Lightspeed, so for now, I'm pretty happy with what I got. Hopefully you didn't get hurt or have any positions that went totally against you and you weren't able to get out because of the issues that have gone on the last two days. And if so, let that be a learning lesson. Maybe it's time to consider a different broker. If you have any questions with IB, feel free to let me know. I've been using them for a year and I feel like I'm, I'm pretty good as far as understanding how to use them and how to set it up. So that's my thoughts on the whole thing. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Appreciate you watching and I'll see you later.